like I feel a little bit like a crazy person. Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Alright, I know it's been a while. Um, let me tell you what my process has been just really quickly. Um, someone left me a comment on one of my last couple of videos asking what my upload schedule is. and. I've been trying to work on that like for the past like two weeks. I'm trying to put a plan in place that's realistic, like that I know, okay, on this day I'm free or on this day I have a pocket of time, etc. So I can't remember your name. Thank you so much for asking um, and for getting me to actually think about it. I am really, really close to coming up with something that I think is doable and it will be on a regular, like weekly basis, like. I just can't figure out how many per week is realistic for me to do. Um, I'm trying to do at least two a week. We'll see. Okay, but anyway, this video is a haul, as uh, it says in the title. Um, I've been buying stuff for the past like month and a half or so. Like, I mean, I've been buying stuff like. I don't have uh, like bills or something. I don't know. Does anybody else do that? You just see stuff you like and you think I'm being I'm gonna be good to me today and I'm buying it. Yeah, that's been this girl here. So I have um, a, a good bit of stuff to show you. I'll make it quick. I will be doing reviews on most of them in the upcoming weeks. So if there's anything you want to see before something else or first, by all means please comment down below and let me know and I'll be happy to get that up for you um, the first thing is kind of like a no-brainer I'm not even really gonna do a review or talk about it because pretty much if you want it by now you have it and that is the modern Renaissance palace palette not palace although I do kind of feel like a queen when I'm wearing it no <laughs> you've seen it it's a uh, beautiful what is there to say? I've been wearing it like crazy. So I got that. Um, I went to, a f or actually I bought this stuff from a few different places and it's all jammed together in bags. So I'll just have to tell you where I got it. I made a couple of trips to Ulta. Um, I got some lashes. Uh, they were kind of cheap. I don't know. They're pretty. They're like those light flirty kind of glasses or lashes that I like. I don't know if that will focus. I don't know. There we go. So those. And I also got those bad boys. So I'm excited about those. Um, I also saw uh, Tati did a video on a carbonated bubble clay mask. That looked really interesting. And I happened to find it on Amazon. So I bought that. So I am excited to try that. Um, I found this website called Glow Recipe, and I'm really like into skincare, and specifically, I'm really intrigued by Korean skincare. Um, if you don't know, I lived in Korea for about nine months teaching English a few years ago, and holy crap their skincare is on point I feel like they have some of the best skincare in the world and um, so I'm buying a bunch of their stuff and I'm gonna try it out so that will also be like one of the days will be like Korean skincare day or something and I'll just test all this stuff and do a video on it um, but from glowrecipe.com and I'm not affiliated with them in any way so if you're interested go check them out um, I got a, an, a sheet mask. It is a water gel extra force mask in optimal repairing and it has oak tree sap essence. So that's what that looks like. I don't know why it's being funny focusing but whatevs. Um, I also, the reason I went to that website is because I saw an article about modeling masks and I was like what the heck and I was instantly intrigued and they were only six bucks a pop so I got two of those they come in this little pot has a little spatula in it you are meant to put some water in stir it up and then it 
put it on your face and it kind of turns into a rubbery texture and then you just peel it off. I'm doing this this weekend, so this video, the review for these will be up soon. I got two, a charcoal one and a cooling one. Let's see if they'll both... That's what they look like. So stay tuned for that one. So once I went on Glow Recipe and ordered those masks that got me into like, you know, sheet mask craze for some reason. And I ordered um, off of Amazon this mask. Now this is from Japan. I believe it's called Baby Feet. Uh, the little sticker on the back here says it is Japanese Hyaluronic Acid something something. It's like dot dot dot. Cracked heels and it has two socks in it. So. Let me show you the back and what the directions look like. You are meant to kind of get in there and there's two little like plastic booty soft things. Cut the lid off, stick your foot down in them, chill out for like an hour and a half and then rinse your feet off and within like uh, two weeks, ten days or so, three to ten days, all that dead skin peels off your feet. This is not a new concept. It's been around for a while, but I've never tried it before. Let me tell you. Oh my God, it was amazing. So, uh, and my feet started to peel within like two days. I don't know what that says about how the state of my feet, but you could guess. Um, but right now they're like the best they've been in years, maybe? like without much work at all. It leaves a mess. It is really kind of gross and intriguing all at the same time, but it works. So this works. I got this from Amazon.com. This is like 15 something, almost $16. So what I did was I went digging and I found out that Ulta has um, another brand of them. This is the Tony Moly brand and it's basically the same kind of thing. And I'm going to try these at some point. Now, I don't need to do it again for at least a few weeks. So, once I finally do try these, I will let you know. But that's what they look like. And I picked up a few other sheet masks when I was at Ulta. Uh, more Tony, I think this is Tony Moly. Yeah, Tony Moly, a rice sheet mask, a what is this? Seaweed sheet mask what it looks like I also saw something from Tony Moly called pureness 101 green tea sheet mask pick that up and then I saw one from leaders in solution a Himalayan camellia pore minimizing mask so I picked that up as well I will let you know how they all are. I'm also intrigued because a lot of them are very much like moisturizing and I don't need a ton of moisture on my skin. I have very oily skin so I've always kind of thought they weren't for me but I'll try them and report back. While I was also at Ulta I picked up a couple of these uh, Maybelline Bold. Uh, they're the Bold Lip colors. I got two. One in 825 Blackest Berry that looks like that. And I will swatch it for you. I just thought oh that's beautiful. Look at that color. It's beautiful. And I also got number 800 in Dynamite Red. Looks like that. It's an orangey red. I don't tend to like orangey reds on me, but because my lips are so pigmented, this actually isn't quite as screaming red as they usually come out on me, so there's that. It looks screaming orangey red there, but not so much on my very brown little lips. Um, I also picked up a NYX Whipped. It is their um, Lip and Cheek Stain situation. I don't know if you can see it. Is that better? That's better. This is in Cocoa Bean. This is beautiful. I will swatch it for you real quick. I've worn this a couple of times. I do really like it. It's a beautiful color. That's it there. Beautiful. 
and um, is this from Ulta? No, I think this one is actually from Target, but because Ulta was picked clean. But I found one of these Maybelline Color Jolts. This is really the only color that appealed to me that I knew I would realistically wear. It is in 05 Strip Down. I will swatch it. It's my kind of color as well. There is the Maybelline Color Jolt in Strip Down on the end there. Okay, also while I was at Ulta, I picked up a Soap and Glory Original Pink Body Spray. I love the scent of this. I love it. And they have it in a body spray. I don't know if that's going to focus, but there we go. There we go, baby. Love it. I've tried it. It smells just like the original pink scent of their stuff, um, of their products. But it doesn't last very long. It lasts for about an hour, maybe two. It lasts in your clothes longer than your body, so. I also picked up a L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Gold Illuminator. This is nothing new, but I find that when I wear very um, mattifying foundations, I like to throw in like a, a dot of this so it doesn't look so flat on my face. It's perfect. Is lovely. Um, I also picked up from Ulta this Tarte Shape Tape and I got the color tan and this is what it looks like tan. I will swatch it for you. It's hella light but when I um, you know kind of like blend it in it's it's not as bad and as harsh as it might look here. But that's beautiful over there on the end of course um, I have used this a few times it's lovely it doesn't crease and everything creases on me that stuff does not crease it's perfection okay also when I was at Ulta I noticed that Bare Minerals had their Jen Nude collection out now this one I picked up at the in line like the little stuff they want you to buy in line, the little sample stuff. Um, this one has two. It has a liquid mini matte lip color in the color Boss and a lip gloss in the color Sugar. And I will swatch them for you. This is Boss. What is with my focus, man? Focus. And then I will swatch the lip gloss sugar for you. I freaking love these. Um, I love them like they're my child or something. They're really soft. They feel great on the lips. The matte ones are not transfer proof, but they're gorgeous. I mean, what? So the darker color is Boss, and that is sugar, the gloss. And you can see it's quite shiny, as the gloss should be. I also picked up a couple of their Radiant Lipsticks, and that's what the boxes look like. This one is in Strip, and I haven't even swatched this yet. Like, I swatched it in the store, but, um, and it looks like that. Let me show you what it looks like. So that's what strip looks like on a brown hand because that stuff's important so that was strip and then I got this is the original color that I instantly gravitated to it is called mantra and that's right up my alley right up my alley a nice rosy dusty rosy mauvey color and that's what that looks like, Mantra, on the end. And then I picked up Scandal. And this is one of the matte liquid lip colors. That's the box in case you was interested. And it looks like that in the 
tube bottle bottle I'll do it up here and this is scandal and this is also the color that I'm wearing right now where how can I do this like that that is scandal and that's it on my mouth and I also picked up another one and it is in the color icon icon looks like this in the tube and swatch and swatched icon is right there so beautiful beautiful I love the formula my lips feel good they're not a hot mess love it I also picked up from Ulta uh, a couple of things that have been intriguing me for quite a while. I mean like months and I finally just said to heck with it, I'm getting it. You know how that go. Um, this one is by Lipstick Queen and it is in Frog Prince. That's what the tube looks like. And this is the one that is bright green, bright deep green and it's supposed to change color I will swatch it for you so we can see what it looks like on on my brown skin if it really does change I was intrigued you know is it gonna be a flattering pink for a person of color or is it you know gonna be some mess that I would never walk out of the house in so we'll see that's a, an instant kind of swatch we'll give it a few and see so this is what the swatch looks like pretty pretty right away or pretty right away uh, the one I just did I'm intrigued to see if it really does change color I will uh, and if it's a flattering color on me it's starting to change already as you can see I feel like I see some green on it still but that just might be my vein showing through you know I know spring chicken no more um, no I think it is some of the green so we'll see we'll check back in a minute and see what it looks like but that's what it looks like pretty pretty right away and I also picked up uh, from lipstick queen medieval it's supposed to be the red everybody can wear kind of situation we'll see so let me swatch that next to frog prints hmm maybe so on my brown hand it looks like that we will see what it looks like on my very pigmented lips I will let you know so that was medieval by lipstick queen and the piece de resistance one of the real reasons I went to um, Ulta in the first place is to see if they had the urban decay all-nighter foundation I picked it up in shade 7.75 which I believe is the, I don't believe it, I mean I tested them. Um, it's the closest one that matches me now. If you've heard anything about this, if you've watched any other um, reviews on this, you know that the color change is quite dramatic. Um, I'm going to put some on my hand so you can see what color it comes out of the container in. So that looks to my eye like girl you crazy that's not that's not your color and I am inclined to agree with you <laughs> based on this swatch but when I rub it in and it dries it darkens quite significantly so I will spread some of that out and we will uh, wait a minute or two and check back alright I had to reset my camera because it was flashing at me and so I think it was just gonna shut off soon so <sighs> first world problems who cares alright we're almost there almost at the end um, I picked up something else from Target when I was there I picked up the elf contour palette that's what it looks like I can't remember who I saw on YouTube that had this and was kind of raving about it and I thought well heck okay let's give it a shot uh, this is what it looks like inside 
I am interested and intrigued to see if I can get it to work for me. So we will see. Also, I picked up on Amazon. Um, I was, it must have been that same day I was like with the Korean skincare going crazy that day. I picked up on Amazon a banana sleeping pack from Tony Moly. I mean, look how freaking cute that is. It's a banana. OMG. And it's a sleeping pack, so you're meant to put it on your face and then go to sleep in it and wash it off the next morning. I mean, look. Look how cute. It even has a little sticker. Oh my gosh. Um, and it's just, this twists off, and it's just a cream. A thick cream. And you rub it in and then go on your face and then go to sleep and then wash it off the next day. I will tell you, this smells exactly like banana Laffy Taffies. Do you know what I'm talking about? This little banana Laffy Taffy candies? It smells just like it. And it's quite um, intense of a scent. So if you... Uh, see, I happen to love that smell. It's not like making my mouth water. But if you don't like the way that banana Laffy Taffy smell, you will not like this. Because that's exactly what it smells like. And it's it's intense. It's an intense smell. Um, I haven't tried this on my face yet, but I will tell you that um, the smell dissipates after you after it dries. So you don't smell it as much, but it's really thick. It feels really nice, but I haven't, like I said, tried it on my face yet overnight. So I will try it and report back to you. Two more, okay? Just two more items. Um, I ordered some a couple of things on sephora.com uh, this one I have been wanting for years um, I used to work at Sephora three years ago I think for a short short time um, and I tried this there I'm gonna put it on its side because that's where you can see the name it's Dr. Jart water fuse water mask water max sleeping mask And I tried this stuff when I worked at Sephora and I loved it. It was so wonderful. It is also a sleeping pack or sleeping mask. You put it on before you go to sleep. Um, this stuff is like, it feels so good because I did try it once um, since I got it probably like a week ago. It does feel like your water is drinking it or your water is drinking it in. It does feel like your face is just drinking it in. It feels so good. So if you have dehydrated skin, this might be the thing for you. I love it. I do love it. And the last thing that I got uh, in this whole haul is also from Sephora. I got the Dolce & Gabbana The Foundation. It is the perfect matte liquid foundation with something something sunscreen broad spectrum SPF of 20. I'll see if that'll focus. Let's take it out. And this is in the color 150 Almond. I've had three of these bad boys. Um, I ordered one, it was way too dark. I ordered the, la the last one in the line. My thinking was, this is like a luxury brand. They never make stuff dark enough for brown people. Let me get the last one, because that's probably gonna be my color, because they think nobody is in the world, apparently, who wears makeup is darker than me. So I bought the dark one. It was sable, I believe, soft sable or something sable. It was really way too dark. It was like a good dark color for someone darker than me. So then I thought, okay, well, this is a luxury brand. I'll get the second to the last one because surely that will be my color. It was in 160 soft tan. No, that was a good bit too dark as well. Um, so I thought, well, let me try this one. It is almond and I think it's a pretty good match. By the way, this is now what the Urban Decay color looks like now that it's set. Can you see it there? You can see it there. So it might be a little problematic. I feel like I might have to zhuzh it a little bit. Um, but this is also a thick layer as well. So, But see how much darker it gets? 
let me compare. Sorry to interrupt the Dolce & Gabbana one with this one, but I want you to see, if you're not familiar, just how much the color changes. So that's the color initially, and that's what it kind of deepens up to. You see that? But anyway, back to Dolce & Gabbana. This is what the bottle looks like. I have not tried it yet. It is 150 almond. I'm going to swatch it. I think it still might be a bit problematic, um, like a little, if not too dark, maybe a little too orangey. I might have to adjust it some. Um, but that is that. That is the closest thing I think I'm getting to a match on my skin. Now, my hands are lighter than my face, so because it looks too dark there doesn't necessarily mean it is too dark once it gets on my face. I will test it and report back. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that is my haul. I will have lots of fun testing all of this stuff. It is like littered around me. Um, but I'm going to test all of it out and I will let you know how it goes in future videos. I am still working on, like I said earlier, the upload schedule. Um, I plan on trying to do it at least twice a week, maybe more often, but I have to really sit down with a schedule book and my work schedule and kind of play around and and figure it out but I will figure it out anyway oh back to that color that is the frog prints it's what it deepens to I will let you know how it goes on my mouth <laughs> but that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day um, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see reviews on first and I will try my very best to accommodate you um, that is it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment down below. Uh, thumbs up it if you like this video. Uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, bye guys. Have a great one. You take care. Much love to you. I will see you soon. Bye.